In this video, we will see how to install Cursor AI Code Editor on a Mac system. So for that, we need to search for Cursor AI on any browser. And here we will look for this result, which has this particular link, cursor.com. Now we will open this from here. Or alternatively, you can just type cursor.com in the address bar and directly come to this page. Now here on this home page itself, we will see this option, download for Mac. So just click on this. So now the installer file is downloaded and now we will navigate to the location where it is downloaded. So this is the downloaded file. So we will unzip this and now we will double click on this application file to start the installation. We will click on open here. So finally, once this is installed, we will see this type of interface where we have couple of initial settings to get started with cursor editor. So let's maximize this. Now here the first one is the keyboard option and as you can see at the moment it is supporting these many editors. So this becomes very helpful when you are switching to cursor from some other editor. For example if you select this sublime text in this drop down then our cursor editor will behave like sublime text in terms of the keyboard navigation and shortcuts. So for now I'll keep the default one which is this VS code. Now in this option, you can specify any non-English language to communicate with AI and by default it is English. Now this third option is by default enabled, which means that it would calculate the embeddings of our entire code base, which actually helps the cursor AI to understand the code of our entire project. And because of this only, the cursor AI understands like how everything in our code relates to each other. And because of that only, it gives better response to our prompts or queries. For example, if we ask something like where is a particular function is used in our code, so it will easily give the answer because it knows our project where. Now through this last option, we can install the code and the cursor commands in case if we want to open the cursor editor directly from our terminal. So if you are familiar with VS code, then we can open the VS code by just typing code in the terminal. So similarly, to make this transition smooth from VS code to cursor, they have provided the similar functionality here. Now finally we will click on continue. Here it is asking whether we want to import the VS code extensions. So let's say you are using VS code from quite some time then you would have couple of extensions installed in the VS code. So what it will do that it will just download and install all those extensions into the cursor editor as well. Whichever you currently have installed in your VS code. So if you want that thing then you would go ahead with the use extensions here. But for now, I'll go ahead with the start from scratch. Now this is the data preferences and by default, the first option would be selected. So if you don't have any problem sharing your code and the questions which you will ask in cursor, then go ahead with this option. But most of us would not want to share these things with these cursor guys. So we would select the privacy mode here and click on continue. Now here, if you have already created account, then click on login. Otherwise click on sign up here. Now here just click on continue with Google and once you are logged in, you will have this type of interface. So here we have two options, open a folder and open with SSH. So if we are working on a local machine, then we will go with the first option, open a folder. But in case if you want to remote login into a remote machine, then you can use the second option to open with SSH. Now let me show you by opening one of my old projects. So I will click on this open with folder and here I will navigate to the location where my project is present. So I'll go to downloads then projects and this is the project. So I'll select that and say open. So this is how it will look like. These are the files and folders of the project and this was our main application file. So if you notice here the look and feel is similar to the visual studio code and the reason behind that is that this cursor editor is not a completely new IDE which is developed from scratch. Rather it is a fork of Visual Studio code only which is an open source IDE developed by Microsoft. Now in the upcoming video we will see the important features of this editor and we will also do the practical hands on around the chat and the composer functionalities. So if you are interested in these things then do subscribe the channel and do hit the like button if this video was useful to you.